off the field than on it. The transfer portal and the opportunity off of their name, image, and likeness are two of the biggest factors to this change. As North Dakota State looks to stay competitive in this evolving game, one group has formed an NIL collective to support Bison athletes. Coaches, alumni, and other supporters gathered today for the official introdu introduction of the Green and Gold Collective. It will be the exclusive organization that will provide name, image, and likeness incentives specifically for Bison athletics. An NIL collective is an organization that pools funds and provides NIL deals for student athletes and creates ways for them to monetize their brand. It exists separately from the university per NCAA regulations and is being spearheaded by former Bison athlete Jay Bartley. Bartley says that one of the big missions of this collective will be to help athletes through some more unexpected expenses. Give you a few examples that I think about, but like maybe flying their mom up for senior night or being able to attend a funeral they probably wouldn't be able to afford. We have a very generous fan base and I think if someone were to find out someone couldn't go to a family funeral over a thousand bucks, we'd receive that. I think there's going to be a lot of reading to kids, um, helping out at charitable uh, locations all across town. Now that this is public, I'm excited to go and work with those companies and coordinate those events. We'll see what events we get for those fundraising efforts. Now, the Bison are the third team in the Missouri Valley Football Conference to establish an NIL collective, joining Illinois State and Youngstown State. Northern Iowa does have a collective set up specifically for basketball players. The Bison are just the eighth FCS team in the country to set up one of these NIL collectives, and this is for every sport in North Dakota State. Mm -hmm. They were very clear about that. If someone were to donate $50,000 to give to the wrestling team, that $50,000 will go to the wrestling This team. is pretty common at bigger schools, at, at FBS schools, but this is... Right. As you said, fairly unusual at this and level of play. I think we're going to keep seeing more of these pop up. Absolutely.